Hello all, welcome back to Castle Today, the final episode of Book of Boba Fett. If, uh, if you've been enjoying this and you think that this is exactly what Star Wars is supposed to be, you might want to leave now. Now, I'm not saying this episode was entire cringe. But there was a lot of stuff in it that was. They bring... Spoilers. I, I don't care. Spoilers. They bring Cad Bane, one of my personal favorite bounty hunters in. Just so Bubba Fett can beat him. And I guess retain his badass label. I, I I have so many issues with what they chose in this show. The Rancor, it was pretty cool. I enjoy monsters tearing up stuff. But Baby Yoda. And I get I kinda I'm gonna play a little bit of devil devil's advocate right here. I kinda see where they went with the force works in mysterious ways. But I just I can't overlook all the all the other stuff. It's just I mean they they work through stuff off screen in so much and out of everybody I mean and I get it Finnick is supposed to be an assassin and she's in her element <sighs> I don't know I can't say that I enjoyed it I can't it wasn't good it wasn't bad I just I just didn't care through the whole thing because I kind of had a, I felt where it was going, and when I saw R two and I, uh, I don't know. I have a lot of mixed emotions on this, and maybe I should wait to make this video, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. I can't believe they resolved that in one episode. And I can't believe they resolved it in the way they did. They had basically the entire town turn on them. There's no way they should have survived that. They were outnumbered God knows how many to one. And that was just... And the same town that turned on them is now loving them. It's just... And not only that, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Just a few episodes ago, it wasn't that many episodes ago, the Rancor was depressed and he didn't want to do anything. And now he's out here tearing cities apart. What, how, what happened to him being depressed? I don't know. Uh, I actually want to give it a 5 out of 10. <laughs> but just because... I enjoy the monsters tearing up the city. I'll give it an extra point. Six out of ten. The whole series. Maybe six out of ten for the whole series. And the only reason it gets that high is because of the two ep episode uh, five and six. Those two were the best. This one, I enjoyed Cad Bane. But seeing him get pumped like that. Cad Bane wouldn't have done that. That, that wasn't Cad Bane. If you watched... The Clone Wars, you know he, he is prepared for everything. And I know, I know, for those of you that seen the episode, you see the two little beeping things on his chest. I, I doubt he's dead. But he was so intimidating at the first, first time you see him. And now he's lost a little of that luster. If this is if this is all we're going to get, cameos, 
I can't. Mm-mm. I can't condone it. I'm, and I know I'm gonna lose subs over this. But I'm being honest. If if you want to go somewhere where they're where they're going to tell you what you want to hear, then please go. Cause I I, I want to give you my real reaction. I want to give you the truth. I cannot. I I just don't feel right lying and going. Oh, yeah. No, I don't care. And this is this ain't Star Wars. Not to me, it ain't. I am seriously worried about the Kenobi series. After this, ooh, I'm not, I can't say I'm looking forward to it no more. Seeing what they've done up till now in this, I can live without it. And that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.